Hey friends, welcome to our chicken coop. We've got some exciting news for you. We're launching a new ebook all about chicken care. So if you wanted to have your own backyard flock, that's definitely something to check out. Today's video is going to be about how we clean our coop and how we keep our chickens at different places around the ranch. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. The topic of our video today is going to be chickens. So we have all of our chickens here at the ranch, and we love taking care of them. And so what we did is we wrote up a little chicken ebook where you can learn all about how you can have chickens just like these in your backyard how to take care of them, how to manage your flock, what breeds to choose, where to get your chickens, all kinds of super educational stuff. Um, you can find that ebook. We've linked a website down below and you can go get your free copy of that ebook. Um, but what we're gonna do is in our video today is show you a little bit about how we house our chickens here at the ranch. Thank you, PJ. <laughs> how we get eggs from our chickens, what we do here. Um, and first of all, we're gonna go off and clean our coop. So I hope you enjoy the video today. Ready, go! our eggs from so all the chickens here on the ranch lay eggs but some of the more show quality show type hens don't lay very many they'll lay maybe two or three a week whereas these guys this is a buff orpington hen hen she lays about six or seven eggs a week which is a super great rate um, we also have a cornish cross which there's none of them in here right now they're little black hens um, but those are super cool birds they can be used for egg production as well <laughs> And this is the type of feed that we feed them. We feed them a layer pellet, which has the correct amount of protein for them to be laying eggs, as well as calcium. Both of those are really, really important when it comes to chickens that you want to be laying eggs all the time. Um, they have a run that goes outside and they have this inner area here so they can come in if there's any kind of bad weather or rain um, and go out during the day. They love to go out there and dust bathe and run around. It's really great to have chickens with a lot of room. Um, we like to give our chickens as much room as possible without having them free ranging on the ranch. Because if you've ever done an Easter egg hunt, it goes a little bit like that. <laughs> you never know where your chickens are laying their eggs and you'll find them like months later and it's gross. So keeping them all in here, they lay their eggs all in these boxes. Got one hen sitting there. She's what we would call broody, <laughs> which means she thinks she's hatching her eggs. Um, she's not laying an egg right now. She actually, you'll notice if I put my hand in here, she might pick at me. Oh, she's being quite nice. Oh. <laughs> but she doesn't want me to take her egg because she wants to make them into babies. But we do not need babies from her, so we will take her eggs. <laughs> And then these are our laying boxes. So this is where most of our hens will lay their eggs. So we come in here and we collect them um, usually every morning, sometimes in the afternoon or the evening. And sometimes the chickens will lay eggs in very weird places. So you also have to be very careful not to step on them like in this tire right here. And then here we have 
one of our mother hens, she's sitting on some eggs here. And sometimes we have to go under and we have to collect them from her. So sometimes they'll be a little bit broody and they'll peck at you, but sometimes you can just lift them up and pull the eggs out from underneath them. And what's broody? Uh, that means they want to sit on their eggs for long periods of time to try to hatch some eggs. Awesome. You guys can follow me through this way to see where the chickens get their water and where they have their outdoor run area. So this area is just extra space in the coop. It gives the chickens an area that during the daytime they can have more space and move around and they're not stuck on top of one another. They get a little bit of sunshine. I mean, their water is also out here. We have an automatic water, so it's hooked up to the hose. And if I dump this, you'll hear that the water starts flowing again. So as the chickens drink, or if it's out in the sun and it's evaporating, we know that they always have fresh, clean water in this and part of our daily ritual is to come out and dump this and scrub it around a little bit that way nothing starts growing in here they don't poop in it chickens they like to poop in things when you don't want them to so we're out here now at our outdoor chicken tractor with my black breasted red rooster steve and i have my silver spangled hamburg firefly and this is tater uh, he's actually a duck <laughs> we brought tater out one because he's really pretty to look at but also to encourage you guys that the information that you find in the ebook that's linked below, um, it's all about chickens, but a lot of it applies just as well to ducks. Um, you can look forward uh, in the coming months for an ebook more specifically about ducks. But right now, if you're really more interested in ducks and less interested in chickens, um, feel free to use that information for your ducks. I'll tell you, <laughs> they're really, really pretty and fun and there's breeds that don't fly. Um, but like Tater right now, he's not as socialized as the chickens. The chickens we find are a lot easier to socialize. Like Steve and Firefly are both really chill. And as you can see, Tater's like, where's my wife? And his wife is back there somewhere hiding, looking for him. So I'm gonna let him go. <laughs> and then we can take a look inside of our chicken tractor and you'll notice that right now, well, there's a cat, <laughs> but there's no chickens inside. And that's because we allow the chickens that live out here to free range. So a lot of them are running around. You see some of the ducks out here. Um, a lot of the chickens are back behind there. They have enough protection from the elements and from predators because of our dog Faith here. Um, you wanna be really careful if you're going to allow your birds to free range because anything from a raccoon to a hawk to a, you know, a dog that's not well-trained like Faith is, is a predator to them and will eat them. But since we have faith, we have no issues with predators at the moment. We don't have to worry about that. They can free range. And then an area that's a little bit smaller, this is way smaller than our normal coop or our, our laying hens coop that we showed you earlier, is totally fine because they spend their days out and about. Um, but the two birds that Kylie and Maddie are holding are their 4-H show chickens, <laughs> which is another really fun thing that you can do with chickens. Um, a lot of the county fairs, they allow you to show birds and it's something super easy that your kid, even if you live in the middle of the city, can do to get involved in animal showing and agriculture and 4-H and fairs. I mean, have you guys had fun doing it? Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, and both of them have won countless fair awards um, from the fair with their birds. I mean, these are really fancy, beautiful birds, as you can tell. Um, something interesting about them, you'll notice how tiny they are. <laughs> Not only are they speckled, but they're puny as heck. Um, <laughs> Like Golden Power Ranger that Maddie was holding just a little bit ago is way, way, way bigger. Um, Steve and Firefly are what we know, or what we call bantams. Bantam basically means miniature. So if you think about a standard poodle versus a miniature poodle, a bantam is a miniature breed of chicken. Yeah. Um, some breeds will have a standard size and a bantam variety, and others are only found as either standard or bantam. These are perfect for showing. Yes. These you can find in both large and bantam. And same with Firefly. Yep, and they're super great for showing, especially if you have small kids, young kids. You can get them tame really, really easily, and it's not like your, you know, 90-pound kid is holding a 20-pound rooster or anything crazy like that. Um, they're also super easy to house. They don't need as much space as a full-size chicken. Um, they're really, really sociable. A lot of the breeds, you can do some research on your breeds and find out what breeds are going to be more social. I know these two are both awesome, aren't they? They yes. sure are. Steve is one of the nicest roosters that we have. The Golden Power Ranger is also awesome. But something that we mentioned in the ebook, and please give it a read to find out a little bit more, but is that roosters can be very aggressive. Um, and a lot of them, you know, one breed or the other doesn't matter, will have aggressive issues. 
And Steve is one of those roosters, one of those rare, rare <laughs> roosters that has no aggressive problems. He's absolutely awesome. He's very nice to his hens. And that's something that we find very, very important here at the ranch. Yeah. So we hope that this video gives you a little bit of confidence and as well as the ebook in having your own backyard chickens. It's something that's attainable for anybody with any amount of backyard space. You can have he healthy and happy chickens that keep laying eggs for your entire family for years to come um, with just a little bit of work. And our ebook will show you how. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel and we'll keep making great videos like this one. We'll, we'll see, see ya! ya.